In the future, computers could be made of diamonds. This is the Qubit Lab. Diamond is an amazing material. It looks so nice because it's the most transparent material and because it slows and bends light, breaking it into the colours of the rainbow far more strongly than glass. Diamond is also the hardest material and it conducts heat better than anything else. That's why it feels cool to the touch. But diamond is also interesting for more subtle reasons. It looks cool on your teeth. Yes, John, so subtle. All materials are made of atoms, and these atoms behave like little magnets. In iron, all of these magnets line up, producing a large magnet that you can actually feel. But in most other materials, the atoms point in random directions. This cancels out the magnetism, but if you're an atom stuck in the middle, you can still feel it washing over you like a stormy sea. In diamond, however, the atoms are not magnetic. So an atom living inside diamond experiences no magnetic noise. The sea inside diamond is dead calm. Now you might be thinking, so what? Right. What well, does that have to do with anything? Okay. Who cares about some atom floating around in a sea of diamonds? That's enough, John. How does a tiny little atom crammed into a diamond have anything to do with computers? John. Sorry. Well, it's got a lot to do with computing. Currently, our most powerful computers are working on equations that could take years. But if a quantum computer were built, those same calculations could be done in seconds. Regular computers use ones and zeros to represent information, but quantum computing uses waves inside of atoms instead. To use these waves, the atoms have to be placed inside of another material. These waves are really fragile though. They get completely messed up by all that magnetic noise. So far, no one has been able to protect the atoms from this noise. But as we saw, an atom that is placed inside of a diamond could remain undisturbed long enough that it's feasible to make a quantum computer. Recently, scientists in Stuttgart, Germany were able to successfully place a nitrogen atom inside of a very pure diamond and created a magnetic wave that remained undisturbed for around a million oscillations. That success is an extremely exciting step towards building the first ever quantum computer. Soon the world's hardest computations, such as simulating how drugs and proteins behave, could become quite quick and easy. Plus, it will make for one kick-ass gaming system. That's it from us. I'm Larissa. And I'm John, and we will see you next time. What are you doing? Nothing. It's a see-through monitor, John.